Hey everyone, as promised today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I went on social media and asked you guys what your questions were. I got a lot of great responses so I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can. If I did not answer your question, it's probably because I answered it in the last Q&A. If you have not watched that Q&A video, you can watch it here by clicking on this video, or you can also find it in the description. So let's get started. I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care, and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. Megan Leonfield asks, does your husband have a favorite pet in the house? So I went ahead and I asked him this and his first response was, does Caspian count as a pet? Because we always see Caspian is like, as like an actual person. So Caspian was his first choice, but when I asked him like, you know, about the rest of the animals, he said that it was Mesquite the llama. Okay, so Michael Ellie, what is your biggest tip for a new rose-breasted cockatoo owner? Hmm, earplugs, patience, and just let your bird have lots of time outside of the cage. Amilka615 asks, what was your first exotic pet? By the way, I love your channel. Oh, thank you. And my first exotic pet were sugar gliders. I was about five years old, I guess, and I would carry them around in my pockets. Haley EQ, are you a cat or a dog person? P.S. I love your videos. In your video, could you hold a kitten or a puppy? So this is Luna, the corgi puppy. And I'm more of a dog person. My favorite cat is Portia and he acts like a dog. So I guess that makes me a dog person. Kylie Perry, 2003, when you leave or go on trips, who takes care of your animals while you are gone? Usually I'll pay a friend to take care of my animals or sometimes my parents will take care of some of them for me. I just leave very detailed instructions and I make everything as easy as possible for them so that while I'm gone, my pets are still in safe hands. Haley Eve, 7291, which pet would you like to get next? Which pet can you never see yourself owning? The next pet that I think I'm gonna get next is probably fish because in the next couple of months, I'm gonna be getting some fish tanks. Uh, but maybe a bird. I really like birds. The pet that I could never see myself owning is a venomous snake. I think a lot of times people are very irresponsible with their venomous snakes when they're keeping them. And I do want to have kids in the future, so venomous snakes are just not for me. You never know what could happen, even with locks. Ray Hung 2144 what is the top pet you recommend to people with allergies? Funny question, actually, because my husband is allergic to almost all of the animals. So I went ahead and asked him which animals he has the least amount of allergies to. And of the mammals, he said it was uh, the chinchillas and petunia. I would also recommend reptiles for people who have allergies or birds as well. Usually people aren't allergic to birds unless it's cockatoos. Cockatoos produce a powder that a lot of people are allergic to. Air 51, what item was the most expensive but was worth it in the long run? Much love. I'd say definitely cages. Expensive cages are worth it. Animals often escape or are injured in cheap cages, so always go with the best that you can afford. They will last longer and it's just gonna be worth your money. Male Smile, if you could pick one fictional animal to have as a pet, which one would you choose? Um, unicorn or a dragon? Is that cliche? <laughs> Next question, CNSO3. So what do you think about zoos? I'm definitely not one of those zoo haters. I think that zoos are great for the most part, especially zoos in America. They give a lot back to wildlife programs and they help a lot of endangered species. Of course, not all zoos are good. I do, however, disagree with keeping certain animals in captivity. And just to clarify, I do not like SeaWorld at all. I am glad that their orca program is done. I do not think that dolphins, whales, or elephants should be kept in zoos. They do not have enough room for them. There is just no way to humanely keep a whale in captivity 
Elephants can definitely be kept in sanctuaries, but zoos just don't have enough room for them. And sanctuaries may be the only thing that will save the elephant species, but I am 100% against the breeding programs for elephants in zoos. When elephants are born in zoos, they are born with the herpes virus, and that is something that is pretty much just affecting elephants in zoos. So that's my thoughts on that. Can pay 003. What inspired you to make videos to teach the world about animals? And what inspired you to name your channel Happy Tales? P.S. I'm getting a hamster and I don't know how much protein they need. Your hamster should have about 15% protein. I started this because I felt like I had something really great to offer and I didn't realize how many people I would reach so quickly. We're about to reach a million views and it's just amazing. I really wanted to put out more information about opossums and prairie dogs because there's not a lot of stuff about them on the internet, especially stuff that's accurate. I named my business Happy Tales because I wanted to show that it wasn't just something about dogs or it wasn't just for small animals or just for farm animals, that it was for all types of animals. And when I was trying to think of something, I was like, well, there's one thing that all animals have in common and that is a tail. So that's how that started. VXRGO, do you have a fear of any type of animal? I'm not afraid of any type of animal, which I am very happy about but there are certain ones that I like more than others. And there is one that comes to mind that I find really creepy. I find millipedes to be really creepy. And a lot of people keep those as pets, but I'm just like, no. Which is fine because we all have our preferences. Ali Boo, if you could only own one type of animal, what would it be? Like only reptiles or only mammals, etc. That is a horrible question. That is really hard because an ultimatum between uh, mammals and birds, I, I don't know. Okay, the next question is from Crazy Kaylee123456. And she wants to know, when did you get Rainbow? How old is she? And how did you get her? I've had Rainbow for 17 years now, and she wasn't a baby when I got her, so that makes her about 20 or 21 estimate. Rainbow was born a wild Mustang in Nevada. My dad bought her and had her trained for me, and basically it's been a whirlwind love story between me and her ever since. Gabby-licious, will you ever get another horse? Rainbow is my only horse, but there are several other horses on the farm, so she's not alone. I probably wouldn't get another horse until I couldn't ride her anymore, and at that point I would get another one. She is getting up there in age, but right now she does not look it, and she is extremely healthy. And of course, I'm going to keep her for the rest of her life. And the next question is from Amelia Lowe. How to get dogs to calm down a bit before letting them out because my dog is crazy when I let him out to my backyard. The trick is don't let them out if they are super hyper. Make them sit and wait. It's like when I feed my dogs, if they're acting really crazy and excited, they don't get to eat right away. They all have to be quiet and sitting in their spots before the bowls are placed on the floor. Most of the time dogs are really hyper because people let them be. Work on focus training and make your dog sit, make them lie down, stay, or whatever other tricks you want to work on with them and make them really focus on you and be a little bit more patient to get something that they want. Miguel asks, what is your favorite YouTuber and Pokemon? Great videos. Thank you. As for my favorite Pokemon, I get really excited when I get a Jigglypuff. I don't know why, but like when that one comes up, it makes me really excited. I couldn't pick just one YouTuber, but some of my favorites that I follow are Philip DeFranco, Awaken with JP, and of course, Lindsay Sterling, because she is my favorite music artist. Chase Smith asks, how do you get over the death of a pet? I'm asking because my hamster Gus Gus died yesterday. I'm really sorry to hear that. It is never easy when a pet dies. I'm still really sad about Courage, but what I can take comfort in is the fact that I provided him with a really good life. So the best thing to do is to just take care of your pets the best you can when they are alive so that you can take comfort in the fact later when they're not there with you anymore that they were happy when they were with you. So don't focus on the fact that they're gone. Focus on all of the good times that you had with them. The last question comes from Haley Duke. Did you have a lot of animals growing up? If so, what? 
and what animal that you have has the most complicated diet. In my last Q&A, I showed pictures of me as a kid with some of my animals. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you can click it here or follow the link in the description. I had sugar gliders, rabbits, horses, dogs, cats, deer, cows, donkeys, guinea pigs, and lots of birds like chickens, ducks, geese, pheasants, dove, just to name a few. I was also exposed to a lot of wildlife because my dad helped with rehabilitation and he also had lots of friends that had very exotic animals like alligators, camels, tigers, falcons, and skunks, just to name a few. So I had many pets as a kid and I was exposed to a crazy amount of animals. And Caspian has the most complicated diet because he makes it so. He is incredibly picky. So that concludes this Q&A, but you guys will be excited to know that you're gonna be getting a bonus video later. I have taken an entire video to answer just one question and that video is gonna be uploaded later today. And don't forget to join me on on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch that video late this evening. So until then, bye. I started this because I really felt like I had something to offer. <laughs> ah. Okay, see, hair, hair, not good to climb. You pooped on me, what's up with that?